Can't start PC with page fault in non-paged area. When your PC starts with a blue screen showing page fault in non-paged area, it typically indicates a critical system error. Here are some solutions you can take to troubleshoot and potentially fix the issue. Solution 1. Restart your computer. Sometimes, a simple restart can resolve temporary issues. Solution 2. Unplug all external devices and then start the PC. The PC gets BSOD because of an external device. Solution 3. Boot into safe mode. Restart your computer. Press F8 or Shift F8 repeatedly before the Windows logo appears. Select safe mode from the menu. If your computer boots into safe mode, it indicates a software issue. You can then troubleshoot further from within safe mode. If Windows 11 boots too quickly for you to access safe mode using traditional methods, you can use solution 4, 5, 6. Solution 4, use the power button to interrupt the boot process. Interrupt the normal boot process. Turn on your computer. As soon as Windows starts to load, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds to force a shutdown. Repeat this process two to three times. On the third attempt, Windows should enter the recovery environment automatically. Access advanced startup options. Once in the recovery environment, you will see a screen with several options. Choose Troubleshoot. 3. Navigate to Safe Mode. From the Troubleshoot menu, go to Advanced Options, Startup Settings, Restart. After your PC restarts, you'll see a list of options. Press 4 or F4 to start in Safe Mode. If you need to use the internet, press 5 or F5 for Safe Mode with networking. Solution 5. Use a Windows installation media. Create Windows installation media. Use another computer to create a Windows 11 installation USB drive using the media creation tool from Microsoft's website. Boot from USB. Insert the USB drive into your problematic PC. Restart the computer and boot from the USB drive. You may need to change the boot order in BIOS slash UEFI to boot from the USB drive. Repair your computer. Select your language preferences. Then click Next. Click Repair Your Computer at the bottom left. Access Advanced Startup Options. From the Choose an Option screen, select Troubleshoot Your Advanced Options, Startup Settings, Restart. Enable Safe Mode. After the restart, press 4 or F4 to start in Safe Mode. Press 5 or F5 for Safe Mode with networking if needed. Solution 6. Use Command Prompt in Windows Recovery Environment. Enter the recovery environment. Use the steps from method 1 to force your PC into the recovery environment using the power button. Open command prompt. From the choose an option screen, select troubleshoot your advanced options, command prompt. Enable safe mode. In the command prompt window, type the following command and press enter. bcddit slash set default safe boot minimal for safe mode with networking. Use. Set it slash set default safe boot network, close the command prompt, and select continue to restart your PC. It will boot into safe mode. Once your computer boots into safe mode, you can perform various troubleshooting steps to identify and resolve software issues. Here are some steps you can take. 1. Scan for malware and virus. 2. Update devices drivers. 3. Uninstall recently installed software by going to programs. Programs add features. 4. Run System File Checker, SFC, and DSM. For example, SFC slash ScanNow and DISM slash Online slash Cleanup Image slash Restore Health. 5. Disable startup programs by using msconfig. 6. Check Event Viewer for errors. 7. Use System Restore. 8. Reinstall problematic software. Nine. Thank you for watching.